Last year, I was privileged uh, to author AB 1998 that would have banned once and for all the ubiquitous and unnecessary single-use plastic bags in our great state of California. We banded together in, a, in an historical coalition that you rarely witness here in the Capitol in support of AB 1998. The California grocers, the retailers, labor, the environmental community, and hundreds of cities, individuals, and organizations stood together along with our visionary governor who also stood ready to sign AB 1998 because we all understood so clearly the enormous economic and environmental benefits to our state and to our planet. But in the last month of the legislative session, the American Chemistry Council and out-of-state plastics manufacturers spent millions of dollars to kill AB 1998 in the Senate. It was a David and Goliath fight, and we were not able to accomplish, at least last year, what we all know is the right solution, a statewide ban on plastic bags. Banning single-use plastic bags is no longer just an environmental and economic issue. It is a movement that is spreading around the globe. I was in Paris two weeks ago, and there are no single-use plastic bags there. China has banned them, India has banned them, Ireland has banned them, even Bangladesh has banned them. Californians use 19 billion plastic bags a year, and California cities and counties are not waiting any longer. They are leading. They are taking action because it is the right thing to do for our planet, and it is the smart thing to do for their communities by saving scarce taxpayer dollars. They understand that the only way to a more sustainable California is by leading themselves and paving the way for the rest and, and paving the way for the rest of the state and the special interests to follow them.